I've come. I've come. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. For some of us who read through the social media, who listened to the radio, who read the newspaper, yesterday, as the journalist pretended landed in Enugu, the journalist asked him this question. Why is it that we're having this insecurity? We're having this problem in this nation, despite all. And he said, because of the way people have separated themselves from God. If there's a touch that will turn the people back to God, the countenance of God will shine upon the people. Security will be upon the people. Our land shall be secured. Going back to the Bible that if my people are called by my name, we humble themselves. That's why we are here. And seek my face. And turn away from their evil ways. And turn unto me. I will turn unto them and hate their land. Is it too hard for God to do? Can God call the Syrians to hear a noise to depart from the Samaritans again? If Samaria turn back to God, God will turn unto them. We are going to pray. This divine touch will touch your life. We touch my life. We touch all the people and turn them back unto the Lord. And the countenance of the Lord will shine upon us. And all the Syrians will depart from the Samaritans in Jesus' name. Can you call upon the name of God for that? Can you open your mouth, my brother? My dear sister, can you open your mouth and say, God, touch me. Touch me to turn unto you. And turn away from iniquity. And turn away from evil. And turn away from anything that defies. Because they turn God away from us. And when God turns his back unto us, Israel, forsaking that which is good, the enemy will pursue. But when we have this divine touch, all of us, and we are turned in salvation, we are turned in sanctification, we are turned in the power of God, it will be heaven on earth upon our lives. Making a great difference, making you a peculiar person, making you a special vessel, making you a person set aside for God and for his work, a person set aside for the blessing of the Almighty God. Call upon the Lord. Pray. Pray. Call upon our Father. Our God that answers prayer. That's why we are gathered here. For a touch. For a touch. You shall seek me and find me when you, have, when you seek me with all your heart. All your mind, all distractions, all distractions, let them be removed. Any discussion elsewhere, any buy and selling elsewhere, put it aside because the people are seeking the face of the Lord. The people are in the presence of the Almighty God. Join us in knocking at the door of heaven because the doors are going to be open. The doors are going to be open. Our almighty God will stretch forth his hand to touch as many as are seeking him sincerely. Let our voices raise in one accord unto the high heavens and say, God, pass me not by. While on others they are calling, while on others they are touching, Lord, touch me. I need the touch of the Father. I need the touch of the Master. This is the time appointed. All over the world, avoid any form of distraction. Get connected. Are you connected via satellite? Pay attention there. Knock at the door of heaven. Are you connected to the YouTube? Let nobody, nothing distract you. Be connected. Keep praying. Is it through the Facebook? Are you linked to a new handle? Be part of the prayer session. 
In Jesus' name we are prayed. Touch me one more time, dear Lord. And the young man had a touch. And the father, the Lord asked him, what are you seeing? I see men walking as trees. There was another touch that made him to see the reality of man. And that's why I'm going to pray for a second touch. Maybe you are coming here as a Christian, in quotes. You are coming here as a religious person. You are so fit. So close to the kingdom, but not inside the kingdom. Touch me one more time, dear Lord. That should be your prayer. A lot of things has happened that distracted your life, distracted your mind, and taking you to the things of the world. Touch me one more time, dear Lord. Can you pray that prayer? Can you pray that prayer? How do you see the things of God? Are you not distracted? Are you not disturbed? What they say? What you hear? How you feel? They move of God. The move of God is important. Very, very important, my brother. Let him move into our lives. We prayed in Jesus' name. Thank God he has touched you, touched me to be here present. He has touched that our brother, that our sister, that other person to be present in the district church, in the location where the satellite is beaming the program. Or through the YouTube and other social media. But there are some who wish to be in this program who have been distracted by one thing or the other. Your prayer can liberate them. Your prayer can touch them. And whatever be the hindrance, they are going to drop it. They run into this program, this venue, or the other venues, any other place that this place, this program is being beamed. They run there and partake in this program in Jesus' name. Our prophet come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. If they don't hear, how can they believe? If they don't believe, how can they receive? That's why That's we're, going, why we're to pray, going to pray that God That's will God. move the people in a mighty way, in a wonderful way, to deliver them from whatever is holding them bound. Is it religion? Is it a, the way they have been told, don't go to this program? The power of God is going to lead them, liberate them to be part of this program in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouths and call upon the name of the Lord for that. Release the people. Is it is a, good, it a building? good building? There is something, something that is that bringing you to, to, to this place. And that, and that ought to be the utmost. So I'm going to pray that nothing is going to distract your attention 
but her focus shall be on the Lord Jesus Christ. And if I, I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. That as the message is coming, as the ministration of song is coming, announcement, even testimonies, anything that is happening, Jesus and Jesus alone will be lifted up in your heart in Jesus' name. Can we have a word of and say the Lord, Lord, do it in my life. Lord, do it in me. I'm not here to see any building, any bed, bed. I've come to meet with the Lord. The people that went worshiping in Jerusalem, as they were going, they said, we have not seen the Lord. They came to the disciples, oh, that we will see Jesus. Oh, that we will see Jesus. We want to see the Lord. Let's pray. You pray for yourself. We pray for all of us as message is going on, prayer session is going on, the orchestra is singing, there is choruses, there is a song, song coming from different parts of the world. We are seeing Jesus lifted up. We are seeing our Savior lifted up. We are seeing him lifted up, looking unto him, beholding his glory. As it were in a glass, we shall be changed from glory to glory. Lives will be touched and your life will be touched. Your own life will be touched. My life will be touched. We need the touch of the master. We need the touch of the great God. We need the touch of our Savior. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And they bore that person by four. On the different ends of the mat, they dropped him before the Lord. The expectation was, I heal you. But he said, he has sins be forgiven you. Going back to the statement, seek ye for the kingdom of God and the righteousness, all other things shall be added unto you. A lot of people are coming with one physical, social, material problem or the other. And most of the time, the spiritual problem is being put aside. But that is the foundation. We are going to pray that that foundation will be gotten into this day, dealt with, and now every other thing shall be added in Jesus' name. That that root that causes this, that's why the Lord says, go and sin no more lest a word thing happen unto you. That root of sin be totally dead with and all its accomplishes, all that accompanies it will be removed in the life of the people this day in Jesus' name. Let's pray for salvation. Let's pray for genuine salvation. The people's mind will be looking unto God. Not just this pain, not just this uh, disturbance, but Lord, Lord, the avenue through which the enemy has entered. The head that has been broken. Let there be a repair. Let there be a total deliverance from the clutches of sin. And now, it shall be a free flow of the wind of blessing. Or the wind of blessing. Let our voices still rise up unto the Lord, unto the high heavens. O oh, thou that answerest prayers, unto you shall all flesh come. That's why we are all here unto the Lord, unto the Savior. He answers prayers. He answers all. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. What a wonderful amen I'm hearing from my people. And this amen is going to go higher and higher in Jesus' name. That's why I call upon you that is still in the supermarket buying something. Forget about that. There's something needful. Let's get that 
later you can go for the food and other things. So supermarket people, you do well to close shop now. In all the other places in the hotel, please come. You have a good accommodation. No wonder about that. Don't worry about it. That accommodation is for you to sleep in the night. But come and receive something greater so that when you go back, you have great testimonies. Here we are praying and God is going to use an instrument. God is going to use a vessel. And it's a verse long to honor. Shall we bear him before the Almighty God and say, Lord, behold your servant. Behold your servant. Let your word flow freely from his mouth. Speak through him, for we are going to hear. No hindrance from any area. No distraction from any area. Use us to be encouragement unto him as he's going to preach to us. He looks at us. He listens to us. He's fully encouraged to speak more. And let the power flow on Hidas. Let the power flow on Petov. You have best you have prepared. Using freely, using fully. We pray it in Jesus' name. As the word is coming forth, the instrument that's going to be used to magnify the word. Our gadgets here, as they are working now, they work even more efficiently. So that we all, inside and outside, we hear the message clear. We hear the message no interruption. Even the lighting system, all of them will work in Jesus' name. But do you know we are in our numbers here? But the numbers outside there, all over the world, are more than 100 times more than the ones inside there. So that's why we're going to pray for our network system. We're going to pray for the satellite. We're going to pray that all will work. All the ministrations. The message, the songs, the choruses, all of that will flow freely in Jesus' name. Can we call upon our God? We are not the audience. We are just a small part of the audience. This is a global outreach. This is an outreach all over the world. Europe, Asia, North America, South America, Australia, the whole of Africa, every part of the world is connected. And that's technology. Doing the work for us, let them obey us. All these days, let them work in our favor. No disconnect. No interference. Free flow. The chorus starts ministering. We're singing together. In one accord. Getting the song from this state, from this country, from this nation, from this other area. All moving in unison. Let our Father do it for us. Let the connectivity work so well. We pray it in Jesus' name. And we have our guest artists. They have been so excited to minister along with our general superintendent. He says he's so delighted to minister with him. 
and the ministration of the man will be wonderful today. And the connection will be so wonderful. And it's a prelude to the pastor's message. Everything will flow well. Seamlessly. Can we ask our Lord to do it for us? Let's open our mouth and pray. That we shall get message from his ministration today and all the days of this program. We shall all benefit. Are you praying? Are you praying? Let's not take anything for granted. We have conquered the technology. We have everything under our feet. Yes, that's something great. All the posts of darkness that may want to intervene here and there, the Lord will bruise their head under our feet so that things will flow. Seamlessly, those of us here physically present and those of us that are going to be partaking virtually, it will be as if to say we're all here together. Ministering from other places, other countries, it will be as if to say we're all here gathered in this city. In this say, look, we lift them up. It's going to flow. Flowing so well. We pray in Jesus' name. Finally, we are going to pray for the people that have authority in the nation. Nothing. We cause any person to start thinking, this thing is going so high, the other one is going like this because of this. Let's have a lockdown here, a lockdown there, a curfew here, a curfew there. None of this will happen. Because the move of God is here to touch people. And the enemy wants one or the other to distract it. All those plans of the wicked ones are under our feet in Jesus' name. Can we just pray and say, God, let the people have the freedom to partake in this program. Those that are coming here, those that are partaking in different states, in different nations, they will not be hindered by one law or the other. We will be the Lord of the land. Let there be no law that will work contrary to this program. We pray in Jesus' name. Almighty God in heaven, we thank you for this period of prayer. This is the beginning. More prayers are going to ascend out of the heavens in Jesus' name. And we shall receive our answers coming unto us. And all praises, all honor, all adoration will be ascribed unto your holy name in Jesus' name. And the people of God will go back rejoicing. As you share the testimonies of your great touch, lives being changed, our society being changed, more souls be drawn unto the kingdom in Jesus' name. We bless you, dear God, because you have answered us, Father. For in Jesus' name we are prayed.